Hey everybody, welcome back to Come Again and where all geek things collide. This is my second part to my Masters of the Universe collection, The Villains. As you can see, you have Merman, Moss Man, Evil Lynn, Trap Draw, Beast Man, and Skeletor with the battle armor. So stay tuned. First off, we're going to start off with Merman. I like Merman. I like this one. They do have the chase out there, and he's blue. I didn't want the chase, but I really like this one. I prefer the, like I said, the classic look of them. But he's got his spear. He's got some armor on. His foot, his, his yellow boots. He doesn't, nope, he's not really too top-heavy. And his head does move. That's something I forgot to show in the other vid my first video, that all their heads do move. They, they spin all the way around, which that was kind of creepy. <laughs> but it's got, like I said, the classic 80s looking armor, like how the plastic pieces that we all had them, and they all broke at some point in time, and we just kind of wiggled them back together with soup glue and scotch tape or whatever else we can get our hands on. Next up, we have Beast Man with his whip. This is the one I prefer over the one that they did before with his weapon. I prefer him with the whip because that's what he used on the beast. And once again, oh, his head does not spin all the way around. It only goes so far, which I that's much better. But he does have the, the balding going on down into his mane back here. His body really doesn't... Yeah, his body doesn't turn at all, which would be cool if it did, but it doesn't. But, I really like this one. He's got the little, little spikes on his armor right there on his arm. But, once again, they're staying with the 80s look. Next up, we have the Queen of Evil, who wants to fall over. Evil Lynn. She's got her staff. She's got the armor, the headdress, which is really cool. When she keeps falling over her cape. I wish they would have done her cape purple instead of black like that. But it still looks really cool. It goes with her headdress. This one kind of almost looks like a mix between the cartoon and the Masters of the Universe movie with Dolph Lundgren. With the way that they got the headdress. Like, the only difference is she got the purple headdress instead of the gold crown like she wore in the movie. And she's got her scepter there, which is really cool. She is also the reason why I would really want them to make a Tila to go with Evil Lynn. Next up, we have the FYE exclusive Trap Troll. As you, as you can tell, I'll put his box next to him so you can see. He is a lighter green than what? He actually was in the show but he's still a really cool pop I just recently got him and Mossman in a trade so I like him a lot his little gun can right here he's got this the macho man striped shorts on he's got the skull crossbones on his belt but his head, his head does spin all the way around. So, yeah, he's cool. Next up, we have the Toys R Us exclusive flocked Moss Man. And he is very soft and will cool. He is going to draw so much dust if I take him out of his box and leave him out of his box. But he actually feels like the original toy that they made that was flocked. I really like him too. He's really cool. Like I said, I just got him in a trade as well. I did a two-for-one trade. I traded one of my pops and got him and Trabjaw. So keep that in mind, people that watch this video. I do trade. Last but not least, my favorite, The Big Bad. I don't care what you what people say about Hordak, Skeletor is the big bad. 
It's like this one here is the battle armored Skeletor. And he should, yeah, his head rotates all the way around and he's the only one that should. But he is in the battle armor. He's got the purple everywhere. He's got his staff, his ramhorn staff. And they kept with the 80s look of the armor, which I had this figure and I broke every single one of those straps. It was so frustrating when I was a kid trying to play with these things. But it was, it was so worth it. He's got the red, the red eyes, and it's just, he's just like He-Man though. He will fall over because he is top heavy, so he has to stay in his box as well. But he is by far my favorite villain in the universe. He's actually, I, so he's actually was my favorite because of the fact I named my very first dog after Skeletor. I called him Tor. And there you have it, folks. The villains of Eternia. Once again, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button. If you want to learn more about the Masters of the Universe, check out John's videos on this on the page. And have a good day.